What's up, YouTube fam? <laughs> Why are you laughing, bro? Uh, previously, we went ahead, broke down the 2J, got the head separated, the block fully broke down. Today, we're gonna try and get the pistons on the rods. That way, the next step we can do is measure in the piston rings and maybe gap in a little bit for boost since I did it on the last one. So, let's get to it, guys. Got a nick in it. No, all right, so we can run with this one. I'll put a little oil on here. This is the incorrect way to do this, so don't watch me right now. I don't got like no special crazy press or nothing as we should. So I'm gonna start with knocking it in the piston here. Let me see, so it's gonna go like this. Everything looks good here. Oh, shit. Don't put that in the video, bro. Please don't put that in the video, bro. All right, so we got this on here. This is not gonna look good for the camera because like, this is not how you do it. Eight hours later. All right, so we could probably keep that part. Oh, people are gonna be like, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we're just gonna rest this one in here. So that goes like that. That goes down. Let's just do this. Like we're supposed to have a press, so. I know people are gonna be stressed right now. we're looking like a retard right now uh, all right this is probably not the correct tool for this but we're gonna go ahead and press the wrist pin through the piston and the rod and hopefully everything goes smooth and copacetic so let me get on my knees bro make sure I get this in right Hopefully this goes way better than I'm planning. I'm so nervous. It's going. It takes a little bit of time, but I just gotta have to inspect the piston, make sure nothing gets damaged or retarded. The rod feels good. We just have to get it to a point where we could put the wrist pins in and we'll be good. Let me see what that looks like. I'm not gonna lie, that went way better than I was expecting it to. Let me see. I just have to go a little bit more, but that actually goes pretty good. It feels pretty good. All right, so now we have the technique down. We can deal with that. Uh, I just gotta go a little bit more down. That sucks because I went all the way down. Okay. This is the part I don't like. If we had one of them hydraulic or the uh, the air ones, that would be nice right about now. Why'd you let me go this far out, bro? We got to fix it. All right. 
want to hear more so we'll just tap it one more we're pretty much about there and then you can see the other side with a little bit off so we'll just go just a hair more and then we'll be all right then we can put the the locking pins in not the locking pins but the locking clips in. we'll put the clip in later all right so that's one piston and rod actually it's the second one because i do one already i did this one the hard way until i figured out i should just press it and that was a lot easier all right so let me see this one has i think this one's good all right let's work on another one let me see which rod was i gonna use I think the other ones, like I might have to file. It looks like the other ones were not really put in that good. All right, so we're down. Let me make sure I did this one the right way. And then this one has to go like this. Okay, round two, are you ready? Same thing, just we got space now. All right, you ready? Yeah. All right, we're gonna try piston number three, guys. With this long, long jack process. Let's go. Sooner or later, we'll get to you. <sighs> Still jacking. <laughs> let's go. All right, let's make sure everything just goes in nice and easy. No, <sighs> well, it doesn't look like it's going in nice and easy. I think we, we're going to stick with the idea like you had is just hammer it even though I probably don't want that like on a video per se. You feel me? Alright. Yeah, this, this, is this, the process is definitely not quick and easy for sure. I agree with you on that. I definitely agree with just tapping it in with a hammer at first and get it started because it went way easier that way all right we went ahead got all the pistons and rods assembled so the next step we'll be doing is putting the piston in the block and making sure the ring size is good or gap them a little bit and then honing the block and then we can finally assemble it. Let's go.